prior to his ascension, Jesus instructed his disciples not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, that is, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus had commissioned his disciples to go into all the world and to make disciples of all the nations. But before they were to go, they first needed to receive the power of the Holy Spirit from on high. We see an important principle here. Jesus commands us to go. In Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20, Jesus had commanded his disciples to make disciples. He commanded them to teach those disciples to obey all that Jesus had commanded them. That included his command for them to make disciples. Hence, you and I are also commanded by Jesus to go and make disciples and to teach those disciples to do all that Jesus had commanded his original disciples. This command of Jesus to obey all that he had commanded his disciples includes his command here prior to his ascension, that is, to wait for the promise of his Father, the baptism and the empowering of the Holy Spirit. Just as these early disciples needed the power of God's Spirit in order to do Christ's ministry, so do we. Those disciples were with Jesus for over three years, yet they still needed the power of the Holy Spirit. If they did, how much more do we? Jesus' command here to wait before leaving Jerusalem certainly included not going anywhere until the Holy Spirit had been poured out. But it had a wider application as well. The disciples needed the Holy Spirit's presence and power in order to lead the early church. They needed the Holy Spirit's discernment and wisdom. Prior to the day of Pentecost, we read that the disciples made a decision to fill the position left vacant by Judas Iscariot. They quoted Psalm chapter 69, verse 25, and Psalm 109, verse 8, as their proof texts. Certainly, the scriptures clearly prophesied that Judas' position was to be filled by another. But these disciples had not yet been filled and empowered with the Holy Spirit. Jesus had clearly told them not to begin their ministry, but to wait. The disciples went ahead and chose two candidates, and they cast lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, who was then numbered with the eleven apostles. Interestingly, this is the last time in Scripture we ever read about Matthias. We do, however, read a lot hereafter about a young man named Paul, who went on to refer to himself as an apostle born out of season. We're reminded of what the scriptures teach. Man makes his plans, but God ordains his steps. We need to be careful not to attempt to do Christ's ministry in our own human wisdom or methods, but rather in the power of God's indwelling spirit. 